Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Another mnemonic video, another tricks video. Under 5 to 7 minutes, I'll teach you to understand all the paired rule genes that are present in a Drosophila development. And we are also going to know about the role that these paired rule genes play, in which body segment these paired rule genes are active. And also we are going to talk about the defects related to these paired rule genes and what is will, what will be the result of the defects that uh, is due to the uh, defects in the, the pair rule genes or mutations in the pair rule genes. So this is about pair rule gene. Okay. So in this side of the pair rule genes we have. So to remember this we need to again uh, recall one simple sentence and this sentence is about uh, uh, someone who really really like their striped dress and that is Sabma. Let's say Sabma is the name of that uh, woman. And she loved her striped dress, right? So Sabma with her striped dress is something that you need to reimagine in your head. So the sentence is for her, for her striped dress, for her striped dress. So this is what you need to remember, for her striped dress, okay? And the name Sabma, if you remember that, that is her name. Her name is Sabma for her striped dress. If you need to remember this, if you can remember this, you, you remember all the different genes related to the pair rule gene, their a role and mutation to them lead to the changes. What kind of changes are those? You can get everything from this particular sentence. Now I am saying this because we have specific names here. F stand here for Fushi Tarazu. Fushi Tarazu gene. Then we have H E R, H is hairy, E is even skipped, and R is a runt. These are all the pair rule genes, the major pair rule genes that we know in Drosophila. For her, F for Fushitarazu, H for hairy, E for even skipped, R for runt, her. Then we have striped. So now next what we have striped dress. Now this striped, why we have this particular part striped dress is that we already got the name of the pair rule genes. But what we have the second part striped dress is that the striped part is very important because during drosophila development, uh, this body pattern is something like there are different body segmentation already built, right? And the expression is in one stripe, gallop other, another stripe, gallop other, another stripe. So the expression is jumping one body segment to the other. This is something that happens here. So for example, the Fushi Tarazu is starting with the stripes. So stripe means it is going to start with the seven, seven striped. So they express in the seven striped uh, area of the body segment. Okay. And the hairy, this is where alternative segment is where they gets expressed. Then again, even skipped is seven strip region they will express and runt is in the alternative body segment that's being expressed so in individual body segment if we count if for fushi tarazu is explain, uh, expressing here in seven striped or manner seven different stripe will be there for fushi tarazu but hairy and runt they are they are expressing in the alternative segment so if runt is expressing here it will not express here, then it will express here, not here, then here, not here, then here, like that. So alternatively, the runt will express. That's why alternative segment they are expressing. Similarly, here we will express alternatively. So when I say striped here, starting with the striped, so Fushi Tarazu is a striped pattern. The next one will be alternative pattern. Again, the next one will be striped pattern. The next one will be alternative pattern. In that way, you put so that you can remember not only the name of the pair rule genes, but also the way they are being expressed in the body segmentation during the body segmentation of prosophila and we have sabma the name of uh, the owner of the dress here we can clearly understand and talk about the role of these four different pair rule genes and if there is any defect what result they will have <clears throat> so they have one two three four different defects so defect number one is here the defect in segmentation 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 defects will originate if there is any defect in Fushi Tarazu. The next one is this B. B here is the segment boundaries. So here he helps in the formation of segment boundaries. Okay. 
remember that b for boundaries so uh, this hair gene this helps in the formation of every segment boundaries so if there is any mutation in hair e the segment boundaries will not be formed properly then we have m for missing segment if there is any mutation in even skipped there will be missing body segment okay any particular body segment may go missing if there is any mutation to the even skip and then runt is a a for uh, a for here is the anterior distortion on anterior side anterior side of the body that is for the uh, for the runt right so we can also remember the mutation related to fushi tarazu hairy even skip the runt and how they are related if there is mutation to the fushi tarazu the segmentation will be defective if there is a mutation to the hairy the segment boundaries will be lost if there is any mutation to the even skip there will be missing segments in the body and if there is mutation to the runt there will be distortion on the anterior side of the embryo if this is anterior side if this is posterior side then there's some sort of distortion here in the anterior side of the embryo that's what we are going to see uh, in the mutation of the pair rule genes so this particular mnemonic gives you so many information so much data that you can write a whole page of data bus just by knowing this mnemonic that for her striped dress sabma although i see sabma is not a very common name in india but it is a name in arabic word this is separate so, but <clears throat> for her striped dress sabma you can get all this information all the vital information about the pair rule genes name their function and uh, what they do really in the processes of drosophila development i believe this is going to help you i believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed and one more thing that is very important is that uh this mnemonics are going to give you so much information in a very little time so 5 to 7 minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain you can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam and if you really like this video lectures then please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues there's a series of this mnemonics lecture a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description click that and watch all the videos of the playlist and if you wish to be mentored by me for your csanet examination or want to get our study material then the details are there here in the video you can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or our check our website that is www.shomsbiology.com thank you bye